The Earth Federation's high-performance prototype mobile suit, the RX-78 Gundam, built to be an apex weapon, performed to legendary standards. Preceding the aftermath from the Battle of Loom, the Earth Federation forces soon realized just how important the use of mobile suits would be during the conflict with the Principality of Xeon. Developing suits would be vital towards victory. The Federation's mobile suit development program was dubbed Operation V, and the RX-78 Gundam was the centerpiece. More than just an answer to the Zaku, the RX-78 Gundam pushed the limits of mobile suit technology. Led by Chief Technician Tim Ray, the development of the RX-78 Gundam was calculated in every way possible. The Gundam was designed using Luna Titanium alloy for its armor, rendering the ammunition from the Zaku's 120mm machine gun completely ineffective. The Gundam was so well armored that it could withstand re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. On its own! The onboard learning computer allowed the Gundam to collect and store combat data for future use. One of the Gundam's most notable features, its onboard learning computer, was revolutionary in regards to mobile suit technology. The core block system allowed the Gundam to be separated into modular parts, while keeping the operator within a variable combat fighter. This also doubled as an escape measure. The Gundam was uniquely equipped with close range beam weapons as well. Stored in its backpack, the ARC-78 had two beam sabers that could also be recharged when docked. Each beam saber could be reconfigured into javelins as well. Mounted on the Gundam's head unit, dual 60mm Vulcan cannons could double as anti-aircraft defense as well as additional sub-weapons. In addition to the Gundam's impressive rollout features, its optional weaponry was just as revolutionary. The Beam Rifle was a high-output mega-particle weapon that was just as powerful as a standard battleship cannon. The Hyper Bazooka shot a massive 380mm projectile and could store a full magazine of 6 rounds. And last but not least, the Gundam Hammer was... It, it, it was something. Uh, it, it definitely had charm. The Arc-78 also wielded an additional defensive feature. The Experimental Medium Shield, sometimes referred to as the G-Shield. In combination with its versatile weapons, the RX-78 Gundam proved to pave a warpath against the Xeon forces, gaining a reputation of fame and fear. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode about one of the most iconic mobile suits of all time. Make sure to subscribe and you- What? You want to get inside of the Gundam? And learn how to operate it too? Well, you've come to the right place. Get ready to suit up next time, and may the glory of victory be yours.